Hi guys, I'm Victoria Lopez and today we're going to be doing a presentation about dog cloning. So there's a couple companies here that actually do dog cloning. Well, actually there's just one, but it's called, it's in Texas based and it's called Via Gen and that's like a really, really popular one. Cloning has been around for probably like 15 to 20 years, probably a little bit more, but that's like before they even created their first successful dog, which was made in 2005 and it lived for 10 years and then it died of cancer unfortunately in order to clone your dog you must preserve your your dog's body if it's already into the afterlife and you have a five day window in order for them to like get a sample and possibly make your dog um you have to preserve it by adding water to the body and then you put it in the fridge and then you have to get the sample all under five days and then you have to get that to the company that you chose which if it's international that's going to be kind of tricky but texas is like the center so i feel like that's easier for some people if you really want to clone your dog um it can also be alive but it will you'll have to put your dog under anesthesia and you have to try to find a vet that would even want to um get that sample for you so what these um veterinarians are going to do is get live tissue from your dog and that's what's going to help them get their dna Then they will culture the new cells that share the same genetic makeup and then freeze the cells until you're ready to clone your dog. So they conceive life in the lab and then they take the harvested eggs from a donor dog and they insert the cells of your pet, like separating the yolk from an egg. So they insert the cells for your pet and the egg contains the full genetic material as the original pet. So like now the dog, your dog is in the birth mother, surrogate mother of another dog, you know? So like it's pregnant now because your dog's in it. And then the pet does not need to be fertilized with sperm but it does need a kickstart, so they're going to electric shock it in order for it to start doing the cell division and becoming a growing embryo. And then they hope that the pregnancy is accepted and then they have a healthy clone. But that's not always the case, y'all. Is cloning your pet unethical and why is the success rate so low so the success rate is not even 50 percent so you're being it's just like imagine this these dogs that surrogate they're not surrogates by choice they're forced to breed these dogs basically and that's like not a life that i would want any pet to live and so like i do not support this at all um it costs like fifty thousand dollars at least and in order for the first clone to be made it took 100 dogs they say wombs but they're just I feel like that I don't like that word because then they're just using the dog as like not even a dog it's just a stomach you know so 100 wombs 1,000 embryos for the company Solm to clone the first dog that's like it takes like three four months to make a dog so imagine how many how much time did it take So um, the company Som has cloned over 1,000 dogs and then they each have sold for over $100,000.
The dog cloning company states if you get DNA samples as soon as possible from your dog, at most five days after it has passed, they can show you you will get a dog within five months. You need multiple female dogs to endure multiple traumatic pregnancies in order to get one person's clone. This article has... There's an article that talks about clones and behavior and how, in a way, it's almost a better version of your old dog. Um, because, like, they're just smarter in a way. Some, co some customers try to recreate the same scenes in order for your dog to get the same personality as your other dog. But some people just see it as like, oh, these are my dog's children. Like, I birthed children of my dog. So they don't even see it as the same dog, which is, I guess, better in a way. Because it's not the same dog at all. So you're just facing the truth, you know? These dog companies take advantage of people and like their hurtness in order to get their money because what they're doing is just torture. It's like not even natural life. Like, yeah, you can live the happy memories of your dog, but it's not going to be the same one. So, yeah. So would you clone your dog?